only one person has gotten 500 brawlers with every single brawler in the game without upgrading a single one of them. And that is Riffle. <laughs> so the next question I have is which three brawlers were the easiest for you to do to complete this challenge with? Is Brawl Stars a uh, pay to play? How, how free to play is it? How do you deal with facing players that have higher level brawlers? What kind of tips would you give regarding how to push up your account quickly? Which kind of brawlers then would you recommend new players focus on upgrading first? We're going to go ahead and go through all of the brawlers and I'm going to have you pick one 3v3 game mode that you would recommend pushing pushing those brawlers in. Hello fellow brawlers, I'm Carl Simon. It is time to brawl. Today I've got a special guest here on the channel. How are you doing, Riffle? Hey, really great. <laughs> what about you? Very good. Hey, so uh, guys, you may have heard of the purple Iron Man challenge where you do not upgrade any of your brawlers until after you get them to 340 trophies. Well, this is the 500 trophies with every single brawler Iron Man challenge. It's got a really long name. <laughs> <laughs> Only one person that I know of has gotten 500 brawlers with every single brawler in the game without upgrading a single one of them. And that is Riffle. <laughs> okay guys, now before we jump in here, I just wanted to say that Riffle and I, we go, we go way back, back to when Brawl Stars was first released. She was none other than a member of the first OG Kairos Warriors band, and now she's a competitive pro. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take all the credit for that, and just, <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. The first part we're gonna talk about is what the journey to 500 on every brawler was like. The second part we're gonna talk about is gameplay tips to actually improve skill. Um, some couple, a couple general questions for you here, because a lot of the players that are watching this channel right now are probably new video or new players. Uh, just barely downloaded Brawl Stars because it just went global. Um, first question that I have for you is how long have you been playing Brawl Stars 4? So I've started playing Brawl Stars since a week before they implanted Piper into the game. So oh, okay. So like very soon yeah. after it was first released then? Yeah, like one year and a half. So I imagine that this is not your main account, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. So how long did it take for you to complete this challenge, uh, the level one challenge? Um, I created this account like four months ago and I started pushing on it actually like three months ago. So it took me three months to four months. Okay. Okay, so three or four months. That is that is crazy. And which game modes did you mostly play in to push your account up to uh, 500 for each brawler? Um, I mostly played Gem Grab and Pro Bowl, okay. but I played Heist a bit. Any bounty at all? A bit, but not much. I imagine the bounty is pretty hard to play level 1 brawlers because you just have yeah. such little HP. Yeah, bounty was the worst, in yeah. my opinion. So the next question I have is, which three brawlers were the easiest for you to do to complete this challenge with? Mm, Dynamite, Rico, Ricochet, and Penny before she got that broken buff where... <laughs> where she was just so yeah, cool. yeah. Penny, wow, that's so before that, when she was very she was kinda like not super strong at the moment. That's that's interesting. Why was she so easy for you to push at that moment? I don't know, I really like playing Penny even in my main and the splash the mage could help if as a level one, so Yeah, because even though she wasn't she just could just splash so much damage. Okay, yeah. cool. So a lot of new players will pick up Ricochet and they will say that he's one of the hardest brawlers for them to play. Yeah, you say that he was one of the easiest for you to play. Tell me about Ricochet and what made him easy for you to push. Because he has such a long range, and as a level one, you want to keep your distance from other players, your opponents. So you can keep a good distance, and you can still deal with the mage. Okay, no, that makes sense. He's really good at controlling, and so you just yep. keep that distance. So is that a similar concept with Dynamite? Yeah, Dynamite, you can hide behind the walls, and <laughs> you can reduce the damage you take. Yes, <laughs> fantastic. Okay, so how about uh, Barley, then? Um, why was Barley not as easy as Dynamite? Barley was not that hard either, but Dynamite's damage were, like, so much better. Like, he, he deals a lot of damage, and it was back when Auto Aim Super was a thing too. That makes so sense. So you could just chain the chain the, the super the supers and 
keep dealing the mage, get super back, etc., and just kill the entire map, even though you're level one. So. Even now, though, he's still pretty good. He has just has such good fast damage, so I like that. Yeah. Okay, let's go to the flip side of things. Which three brawlers were the hardest for you to push with? Bo and the tanks, Bo and Dari. Okay, so Bo, that makes sense because Bo is typically considered not competitive at all if he does not have his star power. So yeah. that makes a lot of sense. I was expecting like Crow last season or be last balance changes. Crow was really underpowered. Can you tell me yeah. about Crow? Crow is uh, so hard to push to. <laughs> like you deal so little damage and you can't really jump on people when you're level level one. Like right yeah. on them because you're gonna instantly die. Yeah. So that was like you have to play like a freaking coward and just hit from super <laughs> far, jump from super far, etc. That's, uh, that's how I had to play. And then tell me about the tanks. Why were they difficult for you to push? Not not because difficult for you to push. I mean, you did it. You did an amazing thing. <laughs> Why were they harder than other brawlers to push? Because, like I said, usually when I play level one, I try to keep my distance from the opponents, but with the tanks you're supposed to be close to deal a lot of damage and since you have to get close you get hit and then uh, that was like so hard because i couldn't like against other other tanks i would just die so fast so so why did you decide to to actually start this challenge this is an incredibly difficult challenge a lot of people can't even push to that point with their max brawlers so with my friends jxp and jam we we're planning on getting each one of us one to two brawlers to 1k mm -hmm. and we were doing pretty well until android launch where we started getting shot delays every game so we kind of completely gave up on that idea of pushing to 1k and that's so sad because we we got our, my jesse to 870 and we had like <laughs> 10 days left before the end of the season oh man that's crazy and then uh, uh with the season reset we don't have much intense in sense to push so I just ran away from the delays and made a deep enemy. Mm -hmm. And like, I don't want to sound patronizing or anything, but like, when you start a mini, you play against new players who don't really know how to play well, and it was so easy and too boring. So I just said, let's just keep my brothers level one for now and <laughs> see how, how far I can go. <laughs> I'll push every one of my brawlers to 500 with level 1 brawlers. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, cool. So, my question for you then is, is Brawl Stars uh, pay to play? How, how free to play is it? Mm, to me, it's yes and no. It's It can be free to play, but like, if you're really skilled and you can, you can beat max opponents even if you're under leveled. Yeah. For instance, uh, we managed to win against a lot of tops with my level 1 and uh, friends of mine who were playing with me, DXP, Upper, Daniel and Jem, they were playing level 4 to 7. Mm. So we were quite low and we still managed to win. But having a max brawler really helped a lot because you get so much advantages, like the level difference and the star ability. Yeah, those star powers do make a big difference in combat, especially for brawlers like Bo or even Jesse or, yes. you know, there's a lot of brawlers that that's very game changing. You mentioned that you had a lot of teammates that were just like level four to seven. Um, was that the entire way or did you oftentimes have teammates that were max when you were playing with them? Um, at the very beginning, we did only with their minis, like mm -hmm. we pushed with their minis and then I had friends who were not 10k yet, so we played on the main. Sometimes they were like so frustrated because we were so under leveled compared yes. to the opponents, so they just said, screw it, let's play on main. <laughs> yeah, when you were playing with those people that, you know, they had the main account, they were maxed out, how much did you have to rely on your teammates to do this? Mm, a lot. Like, I don't want to be a burden to them, so you have to try to stay alive as long as you could. You can. They know that I die very fast because I'm level one and yeah. we often face max opponents. Yeah. And sometimes they're tops too, so it's even harder. Mm -hmm. So I know that sometimes I need uh, them to hit the one of my on my lane, like one shot or two to help. So how did you ever play with randoms or was this all did you always play with teammates? Ninety nine percent was with teammates. The only times I played with randoms was when I was bored and that nobody was on, so I just went randoms and I, yeah. the max I could yeah. win was like from 400 to 420. 
Oh, wow, that's inches. impressive. Now this part of the video, let's go ahead and start talking about some of the tips that you have for, for anybody that's wanting to improve their skills. So the first thing is how do you deal with facing players that have higher level brawlers with you? It's not going to sound very, very good, but you have to play like a big coward. It's okay. hard and Defensively. Heal. Yeah, that's the key to it. <laughs> you need to play safe and never risk. Yes, never never make a risk. Okay, that's a, that's actually yeah. a really very solid piece of advice if you ask me because, well, I think that one of the biggest things that new players struggle with is not knowing what is a risk and what is not a risk. You know, because they just think, oh, can my brawler do this? Oh, I don't know. I'll go try it. And then they find <laughs> out, oh, yeah, my brawler can't do that. <laughs> yeah, true. But knowing when to risk it and when not to is very important. And as a, a level one character or as a free to play player that is going to be playing against other players that have higher level account, you can't risk it. So I like that. So then the question is, now that you have played all of your brawlers up to 500 on your level one account, do you play that account differently than on your main account? Like, do you do you now make risks on your main account, even though you've learned that that's a helpful strategy when you are on your level one account? Yes, I try to play differently because I played so much on my level one account that now on my main, sometimes I play like a big coward. Like, I, mm -hmm. for instance, I was playing with Yump and he told oh, yeah. me, why did you retreat? You could have two shot the Poco. And then I thought, oh yes, right. I have enough, <laughs> enough help to do that. I'm not level one anymore. And uh, as a free to play player, it's very important to play more defensively. And then as you gain more game advantage or more game knowledge, then you try to actually adapt your play style to know when you can and cannot take certain risks. How, what kind of tips would you give regarding how to push up your account quickly? Mm, I don't play showdown, so I can't give advice in that mode. I can hide and spin if you want trophies. But um, my best advice in 3v3 would be to push with the team regularly and uh, with people you're used to push with. And if you can, try to play on the voice chat because it's really helpful. No, absolutely. I think that's uh, that's definitely great. It's funny though, whenever I play on voice chat, I always get distracted and start like <laughs> playing worse. <laughs> Another question that I have is, would you recommend people playing one brawler at a time or push playing all of them all together? I guess, I guess really, what did you do when you were playing your level one account? I pushed all of them together because it's too boring to play the same players every time and be sometimes the modes just don't work with person's players so you have to adapt to even to out which kind of brawlers then would you recommend new players focus on upgrading first or in other words the brawlers that are tougher to push when they are at a level disadvantage mm, i would recommend uh, upgrading every brawler to who can get one shot by Max Piper in the clash, like mm. uh, or Dynamax Supers, uh, that makes sense. until they have enough help to not get one shot. Because on my level one account, I got uh, one shot by so many brawlers that was so annoying. <laughs> okay, so just ran a little bit of quick math for you guys. Those brawlers are going to be Barley, Crow, Piper, Ricochet, and Spike. So I like that. Make sure that they have at least 2,600 HP. <laughs> or 27, just to be safe. <laughs> okay, now, Riffle, we're gonna just, we're gonna go ahead and go through all of the brawlers, and I'm gonna have you pick one 3v3 game mode that you would recommend pushing those brawlers in. Just just very quickly here, okay? We're gonna start okay. off with Barley. Hi. Bo. Jim Brock. Brock. Any. <laughs> it's just, so true. Yeah. Okay. Uh, bull. Gem trap for level one. For level one. Oh, okay. Otherwise, Why? it's high. Because on highs you don't deal enough damage. You sometimes you can't even reach the safe because you're so weak. That makes sense. So gem grab was a lot easier. So aggro gem grab. Okay, that yeah. makes sense. I was like, what? <laughs> That makes sense as level one. See, it's different. It's different when you're playing at a level disadvantage, and other people might not yeah. know that. Um, how about Colt? Crow Bull. And Crow? Gem Crab. Really? <laughs> yeah. As like, uh, sorry, this is like shocking me here. So typically, <laughs> I would consider Crow to not be very good on Gem Crab on a max account, just because he doesn't offer his HP. Much support? Yeah, exactly. Like comparison to other brothers that offer more support. Um, tell, tell me what, what the difference is there. Like, I would push Crow on Heist. Yeah, on Heist when you're level 10, but when you're level 1, you just get destroyed so fast. Ah, oh, that makes sense. Yep, it's the Heist thing. Heist is so different. You need that survivability in Heist to get to the safe. Okay. Yeah. Um, Daryl. Gem Crab. 
Okay. Same with B. Same with both. Okay. Dynamite. Heist. And El Primo. Jim Crab. Frank. Probable. Jesse. Jim Crab. Mortis. Probable. Nita. Jim Crab. Pam. Jim Crab. <laughs> Penny. Any but Jim Crab. Makes sense. Uh, Piper. Jim Crab. Bounty could work too, but oh, yeah. as a level one, you get one shot. So. That's true. <laughs> Going against level ten Pipers, it'll one shot you. That's not a very good thing to do. Um, how about Poco? Jim Crab. And Ricochet? Jim Crab. And Shelly? Height. And Spike? Jim Crab. And Terra. But he he oh, works okay. everywhere. Yeah, he does. And Terra? Very cool. Some very good tips right there. A couple questions for you regarding what is like uh, to be a, a, a female player that's a competitive top player um, in a game where I've, I would guess 95 percent of the players are actually male and I'm basing that off of how many mm -hmm. females actually watch my YouTube videos. Do you have any other tips that you would like to share uh, before we end this video? You need to build a good chemistry with your teammates. Uh, try to VC, post chat, chat and yeah. if you want to push fast, join try blazing. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. That's great. <laughs> okay, and then shout outs. Well, anybody you want to give a special shout out to before we uh, end the video as well? Oh yes, I want to give a big shout out to my teammates who pushed with me. So JXP, Upper W, Daniel, Nat777, Kongi, uh, Gem, Gizzy Wind, Kraken, and Crystal. Awesome. Well, Riffle, thank you so much for coming onto the channel. <laughs> You're welcome. It has been a real pleasure to have you. Thank you very much for coming on here and for sharing some of your tips. I'm super impressed with what you have accomplished on your account. Anyways, guys, I wanted to give a huge thank you to all of my viewers that are watching right now and a special thank you to my YouTube and Patreon sponsors for helping support the channel in an extra special way. For now, this is Riffle and Kairos time ticking by and we will see you in Brawl Stars.